weather is constantly getting measured. Every second, data comes in from satellites, weather stations, airplanes, weather balloons, and ocean buoys. It's NOAA's job to organize that data into something useful to meteorologists. And that basically looks like this, a bunch of numbers. That works fine, but maybe there's a better way to look at it. NOAA's latest idea is to make the data look more like this, a three-dimensional model. They've asked Colorado-based aerospace company Lockheed Martin to help make it a reality. It's going to be kind of a Google Earth looking product, but it's going to have all of these observations coming in at, you know, almost a real-time basis. Research scientist Lynn Montgomery calls the model a digital twin of the Earth's atmosphere. She says Lockheed Martin will use their advanced artificial intelligence programs to crunch all the data. Then it will get brought to life using a computing framework developed by NVIDIA. It's the same program the filmmaker Pixar uses to transform concepts into stunning three-dimensional visuals. But then the fourth dimension is going to be time. So we're going to have this two-week moving time window where you're able to like look back into the past and see those current observations and move over time across the entire globe. The first four-dimensional weather model may give us a unique view of the atmosphere. And Lockheed Martin hopes it will help NOAA see into the future. If you have a current state of the world, then with all of these data sources coming in, then you'll be able to better predict what's going to happen in the future. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. It's called NOAA Earth Observing Digital Twin. Even with advanced AI, it's going to take some time to complete. They hope to have the first prototype to show off sometime this fall.